What is up heroes, this is Minade Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, in what was a really long recording session that you're now seeing the second half of today, um, we were completely fooled by the Crystal Heart and developed some new, or developed, or learned some new tech from a very interesting, very creative PowerPoint uh, called Wave Dashing, and we've been using that to make our way through these really difficult platforming segments. And with that being said, let's let's hop back into the struggle. Uh, that's a continuation from the last episode. Clouds. Am I gonna have to? <laughs> I do not like that. I hope they don't integrate more of that. So we've got another fall section. What do they want me to do, though? More wave dashing, I'm sure. I'm probably gonna have to wave dash off of that or something? Do I have to wave dash off of that, like, as it's falling, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I definitely need that feather, though, so... There's no doubt about that. It seems like the only way... I'm gonna do that is if I wave dash. Hmm. This is rather perplexing. Can I even feasibly wave dash off of this? What if... what if I did this? That might be uh, something. Okay, I can't feasibly wave dash. Let's try the crouch jump though. That, I think is gonna be the way to go. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the way to go. So, here we go. <sighs> that's such a tight jump though. And I did not miss these feathers. Hundred percent sure about that. What happens if I were to do no, that's not gonna That ain't gonna do it. Is this really the way to go? I feel like it's not, but I can't think of too much else, and seriously... Uh, to die on, you know, something silly like that. That is a tight, tight jump. Honestly, it's so tight that it makes me think it's not intentional. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm alive. Interesting. Is there anything I can do with that up there? Well, I guess we'll we'll take a look. Um, so, wow, the the descent continues. Why is there double? Huh? Where am I even trying to go? What? <laughs> Where am I trying to go, guys? Well, regardless, I mean, I have to make my way up there. I don't know 100% how I'm going to do that, but I guess I'm going to have to make my way up there. Jump on that, then on the other side, then there, then fall, get my dash back, dash to the left. Oh, and then grab onto that as it's falling, then slide down so I get the boing as it's like right there. So I go across there, and then fall, and fall, and fall, and fall. And then what? Get a double dash, and use one of my dashes as I am as I get another double dash going upright, so I can maybe make it to that feather, which will then maybe progress... Oh, I need to go to the right then. I think that's what I gotta do. I don't see how I even get up there though, so... <laughs> Like, what do I do at this point, right? I 
I just barely made it here too with the feather. So I don't really know how I'd be expected to get over there. What happens if I die? Do I start all the way at the beginning? I do. So somehow with the with the feather I need to get even closer. I definitely need the double dash though. Do I just need to be more efficient? I don't know. I didn't think I was that inefficient. Oh. Wait a minute. What happens to this block after it falls? Okay, it continues to fall. What I think might be the case is that after this second one, let's see here. Yeah, exactly. So I do need to make contact with that second one. Hmm. And then how in the world am I gonna do that? I mean, it's got to involve a wave dash. There's no doubt in my mind about that, but... But even with a wave dash, I don't see myself getting up there. Do I need to fly at all? Probably. It's how the level's designed. But realistically, I mean, I don't see... I don't know, guys. Oh, I feel like we're so close to the end. And this episode has already gone on for long enough. <laughs> oh, did my controller just disconnect? It did. Is it back? Okay, I think, I think we're back. Um, I don't know, guys. I think it's got to be relevant to this mechanic. Maybe that's why they, you know, taught me that. But I don't see any other way to get down there. I'm not gonna like sneak past this or anything, you know. What happens if I fly into that platform? Maybe I don't need to wave dash at all. Exactly. Okay, so we've got that figured out. Now, now we do this and then that falls and oh man, that's gonna be, it's gonna be something. And I messed that up already. We'll, we'll keep giving it a few goes, because I really do think we are close to the end. But wow. Well, this one, I think this one, I mean, you guys saw how much trouble I had with that one descent level. I don't see this being too much better. I gotta dash to get over there, don't I? <laughs> or do I? No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, if I wave dash over there, I can retain my jump. So 
so I think that's what I gotta do. Part of the uh, difficulty of doing a blind run of something is really not knowing when a good stopping point is <laughs> for an episode. And at this point I'm like, are there like, you know, how many rooms are left after this? There's got to be a few, a couple, I don't know. We've already gone through quite a few of these rooms involving the wave dashes and all that stuff. So... What? Did I... How did I not get the... the crystal? Oh man, too much. I'll give this a few more goes. And then... I've gotta... I mean, I've gotta get to work and, and do other things too. But... I can't... I don't wanna have like a, you know two hour long final episode. <laughs> I mean, not that I would be that opposed to it. That's what I did for Danganronpa, but yeah, one of the difficulties of not knowing when it's a good stopping point and just having to give it your best guess. And then, you know, God forbid, it's like I end up stopping literally like one room before the very end of the game or something like that, or this is the final challenge room that I'm in right now. And then my finale is like 15 minutes. But, you know what? It's uh, a testament to how blind this run is. Darn. Okay, so I know why I didn't get that crystal before. Um, <laughs> because I still had a dash at that time. Darn. I faded to the left because I was afraid of running that spike wall. Which I wasn't actually going to have any chance of doing. What? <sighs> What's crazy is knowing that I'm gonna have another feather section to deal with at the very bottom of this pit, too. I wonder if there's any sort of, like, checkpoint. Too much. Too early. <sighs> Man, the, the, the completionist and really, you know, the person who just loves challenging platformers in me wants to spend the next, you know, hour or so just completing this game because it's been such an enjoyable game up until this point. And it is still, obviously, I don't want, I don't want that to make it sound like I'm not enjoying the game at this point. Um, but yeah, reasonably, I may just I may just call it soon and, and come back when I can have more time to dedicate time and energy rather to dedicate to the game. So the last thing I would want is to be too tired or rushed at the very end. All right, let's see here. Okay. Think. <laughs> Is that gonna be there for good or what? Either way, I think. No, it's not. What? Do I just. I need a fast fall. How do I do that? I made it down there. I need to hit the spring. I need to do it fast enough that I hit the spring. That's the key. <sighs> Come on. I just want to complete it. 
I, I really dislike sort of ending on a uh, on a failed, not really failed, but just level I haven't, you know, beaten yet. I would much rather end on a, oh, I just finished this and now I'm at a new checkpoint or we have a new obstacle ahead. Darn. You know, when you'd like just get to a new checkpoint or, or something like that after defeating some sort of big obstacle rather than without beating some sort of obstacle. Okay, fall fast, 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 fast. Okay. 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 Oh my goodness. I hate golden feathers so much. <laughs> I hate golden feathers so much. We are so close. But it has been, how long has it been? It's been an hour and a half. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to take a couple minutes. Take a couple minutes, get some water, chill for a moment, come back, and we are so going to finish this. They're showing the bird. <laughs> the bird is there. It's, so, it's got to be close to the end. <laughs> Guys, I love Celeste. This game is so good. I I want to do this. We're so close. The game is taunting me with the bird. <laughs> kind of funny when you consider the the hand gesture that often goes by the same name. We are so close. All of my, my gamer's intuition is telling me that the, the bird being there is really the sign that it's like, this is, this is it. Ah, oh, too much. So I really want to get that done. Obviously, it would kind of suck if the game ends with a gold feather section of all things. But you know what? We got to play by the game's rules. So if that's what it'll take, that's what it'll, or that's what we'll do. Darn, too early again. Patience, patience. Okay. Let's go. Did fall? Nope, that was not good. Okay, we're getting there. At least the beginning of the feather segment seems relatively straightforward. I hope that, like, the ultimate challenge in this game, you know, the final challenge you do before beating it, is, uh, is a feather segment. A little too deep. You know what, I probably don't even need to risk that. Because I get my dash back really soon after. Yeah, I totally don't even need to risk that. Okay, let's fall. Ah, darn. That's, that's definitely the way to go from here on out. Okay. Darn. Ah, the pressure's on to fall fast. But obviously you gotta navigate, you know, left and right. Okay. Here we go. Ah. I love platformers. I love challenging platformers. I think one of the most frustrating aspects about platformers, though, is that a lot of times, why did I do the same thing I just decided I wasn't going to do? Um, is that you have to replay multiple parts of the level to get back to one segment that's proving to be more challenging, you know? Like, I wish I could just selectively practice, you know, the second half of this level rather than having to go through this 
little golden feather segment that for some reason I'm having difficulty with now um, over and over because I've already you know shown my my competency at doing it obviously doing it all in one go is a more impressive feat that is part of you know platforming as well and I've, I've talked about the balance before right yeah I totally have oh I didn't make it in time almost I think as soon as I get that feather, or as soon as I'm like almost at that first feather, I'm gonna pause for a second and just breathe. And gather myself before that. Come on. Okay, we're getting the feather. So what's about to happen? Whew. So we're gonna have to go to the right the upright, and then it's gonna be up left, and then there will be some platforms we're gonna to have to navigate in between um, as we follow the bird. Whew. Golden feather time. Let's get a drink of water. <laughs> Compose ourselves. Split a little bit, but you know what? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, I'm almost at the end of Celeste. Okay. Here we go. Up, left. Right, up, left. No, I missed. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> we were so close. I even had the leeway. I almost made it work despite missing one. Almost. We're so close. You could hear the music going away. We were almost there. All right, let's do it. Up, right, okay. I gotta take it in more like 90 degree turns. I have a little bit more leeway than I had been giving myself. Yeah, this is the way to go. Okay, come on. Right, right. Okay. Okay, we're at a new new platform segment. I I can get behind this. We're gonna stay top route. We've made it to another room, guys. And it's just a checkpoint. It's just a checkpoint. I thought we were at the end. I thought that was it, guys. I thought that that was it. I thought that we were done. And I still have more of these feather challenges. Okay, we made it to the next room. What the heck do we do here? Oh my goodness. What a challenge. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a super cool room. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, that was, that was way too high up there. What do I want to do here? Let's think for a moment. So I'm going to want to fall to the left, dash to the right, regain my dash, and then, ooh, wait until I'm just past that spike while dash up. And I will have a moment to collect myself. Oh no, why did I go so high up? Why did I go so high up? <laughs> that time I didn't wall bounce at all. We're gonna... We're gonna keep trying for a moment. Really? Did I not... Did I like not dash or, or what? I could like feel the controller start to rumble because I was hitting the dash button and then I died. <laughs> and that was the same thing! Okay. Ah, oh, still too much.
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta think for a moment. <laughs> do I dash? How do I how do I do this part? How do I get all the way up there? <laughs> I see. I think I see at least. Do I have to do a wall bounce or not? These things are gonna come together. I don't think I'll be able to do it otherwise. What? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna need to do a, a wall bounce. Also, for some reason, I seem to have like higher up wall bounces in this area. Maybe it's just like an effect of the gravity here or something, but it definitely seems to be the, the case. I think I need to wall bounce. Because look at how much height I'm getting there. It's like so much of it. Oh, really? Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the solution here. Huh, why is it... Why isn't it... Don't I just have to dash up and then... Yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot of wall bounces. <laughs> I know how wall bounces work. Oh. That's what I need to do. I need to use that momentum. Are we almost at the end, guys? Are we almost at the end? We've got to be. This chapter's going on forever. So got to jump on that, obviously, and then spring to the left, dash up, regain our dash there, dash to the up right to hit the spring again, and then dash up, probably wall bounce, yeah, probably wall bounce, <laughs> and then land on top of the platform, possibly, and then jump onto the right side of it, bounce up, double dash across, How am I going to do that? What do I do there? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to work. Will this start moving once I do that? It will. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> Is those types of shenanigans again, right? Oh no, I messed that up. Just not as big of a platform as before. No, oh, come on. any real opportunities for advanced techniques here though, which has me a little bit concerned. Just the, uh, the wall bounce. Oh man. Oh, I 
gotta walk across. Or at least getting somewhat of an idea of how to do this first part. And I definitely only need to do one dash there. What am I what am I doing there? I tried to like dash back into the spring and I just ended up going that way. I have to be faster. Be even faster. I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. That's that's tough, Celeste. That is very difficult. I'm pretty sure I need to hit that second double dash and then dash up twice and then hit the the spring on the left once it reveals itself. No, why did I do that? Instinct. Muscle memory. In case you guys were wondering. <laughs> I wish I had some semblance of how much was left in this level. Because I feel like so many times it seemed like, oh, this is gonna be the end. And like, I'm really enjoying the game, obviously. But this level has been really long. I think I need to wait. I need to intentionally wait a little bit longer there. Ah, oh, darn. I was trying to give myself a little bit more time. Have drifted more to the right so I had more distance there. Okay. Yep, that's what it is. And then I gotta dash over it on the top right and land on the right side spring. Oh, I missed. Close. So close that I can't not give it more attempts. There we go. And we have yet another room. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got quite the maze going on here. I feel like this is the last one. I feel like it. Hmm. Alright. So we gotta jump in here, go upright, dash to the right, go down right, dash upright, land in that, dash or aim upright, dash to the right to get into that, down, and then dash down right, I think, to get to there. Go upright, dash to the left, aim to the right, land on there, wave dash, wave dash, and then dash right. All right, the plan is set. <laughs> now we just gotta execute. <laughs> what a great start. Wow, that's, for some reason, moving a little bit faster than I remember, but it could just be that, whoa, that trajectory didn't seem, uh, very typical from what I remember. Oh man, I was already trying to get ready for the down right. I gotta really... For some reason I find these... Well, it's just the weird D-pad stuff I feel like. 
You know what? I've got an idea. I've got a different idea for that. Yeah, I like that a lot more. What happens if... Okay, I do have my jump back. So I think I gotta aim up right, actually, there. Oh, you know what I bet it is? It's the wind pushing the course upward as I aim to the right. So yeah, I think I gotta go up right there so that I can wave bounce or wave dash off of that. At least, I don't know, this one doesn't seem too crazy difficult. Maybe I'll be shown otherwise. Actually, I only have one shot there. What happens if I hit the jump button? And I guess we'll see what we can do at that point. Because that wave dash is really the only thing I think that is going to be holding me back here. Oh, I see. I have to wave dash out of the red ball. Let's give it a go. Oh wait, no. I tried to tilt it upwards like it does normally when you just go, you know, directly to the right. Okay. Right, and then... Almost. Almost. We are very close, ladies and gentlemen. Still a little bit too early. There we go. And we're greeted with another room! How? <laughs> I should have known. Um, so I've got a wave dash off of this. And then... And then what? That moves in such a way that I can't come back after I get the key, but I wave dash. And then... And then what? I dash to the right, and I cling onto the wall there, and then get the double dash crystal, and then fall, dash right, dash up, bounce off the spring, go to the right. Great start. <laughs> okay. But I can't afford to um, dilly-dally in that central area by the double dash crystal. <laughs> because I'll eventually be pushed into the spikes. Whoa! I, like, <laughs> flew that time. Sometimes I, like, go crazy fast. Why did it get all dark there? Almost. And we made it. We've got to be <laughs> close to the end. This is the, these are the chapter 8 mechanics, right? And we have these star things that are new. Change colors. I don't know if that's relevant or not, but... We'll keep on trudging along. How long has it been? It's been almost two hours, guys. Almost two hours. Alright. Alright, we'll we'll continue onward. For now. I don't, even, I don't even know at this point. This is just like going all in on whatever long video it's gonna be. So I got a wave dash, and then, um... I wave dash and then I dash up, cling this from the right side of it, get flung to the right side, I land on one of these, I jump on the right side of it as it falls, and then get that key and then jump on the left side, right side, get the double dash, and then jump up to the left side of that, jump to the right side of that, and then fling over here, land on these, chill for a hot second. <laughs> and then go to the right. Interesting. 
that did not uh, that didn't play out exactly as I had imagined. So a little surprise there. Forgive me. All right, we're gonna wait a split second when we start. We'll wait a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, I don't have a dash yet. Should wait a little bit longer. Okay. So I don't have a dash. But I need to get that key. So I think what I'm going to want to do is climb up the left side of this jump, cling to the top side, or the top part of the right side of this platform, and then jump over onto the right side, get my double dash, and then... I mean, I could fall and then dash left and then up right to re-grab. That could be what I do. I think that might be what I have to do, actually. Oh man, that's going to be a tough jump to make. Oh, that's right, that replenishes my, uh, what's it called, my energy or whatever. Come on, okay, okay chill for a moment. <laughs> and we made it over here. We have more of these star things. These are the mechanic or whatever of the final level. Because we just got through the lava and everything. This is the chapter 9 thing, the stars. And that would explain, you know, the death screens and all that along the way. And we've got <laughs> for potentially our final screen, the a descent. A descent is what we have. So we've got to fall and fall and fall and fall. Which route do we want to take? It looks like the left might be a little bit more lenient. But the right will... We could go left or right, potentially. I think I'm going to try for the left. So we fall... Excuse me. <laughs> and we fall... We wave dash, rather. And then we fall through here. We stick to the left. We dash left. And then continue to fall here and hope for the best, I guess. I don't know. And then go in here and then aim to the right. Let's let's try and play it out a little bit. This is going to be very timing based, so we're going to need to see what cycles we start with if we just kind of go right off the bat. Because that's one of the only real reliable ways we can uh, we can time things is oh, if I do this as soon as I spawn what is the timing going to be? At least in my opinion. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Wow. So we made it through that. Not the last room. Surprisingly. Um, what do we have going on here? I mean, if you ask me, this looks kind of last roomy, but... <laughs> But, but what do I know? I've been saying about the past, like, ten rooms. So, we'll wave dash here. Um, we'll wave dash. And what will we be able to get from that? How do I get over there? Right? Look at all those spikes. How am I going to get over there? I don't know. What's the gravity like in here? Okay, well... I don't know. Can I scroll down? I can. Okay, so there's some leeway there. So I'll have to... get the double dash and save it for this last part, where I dash to the right and then up right to get that last one, which will then probably take me to the right. 
So let's see where does um where does wave dashing take us? Nice. Nice one, Nick. Okay, we can at least get that one without much um, of a hassle. Okay, we can do that. Now we try to get the double dash crystal, we do that, which will take us over here. We're still not at the end, still not. Oh no. Golden feathers. Okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm gonna have to cling onto that. Oh, what is with this game and <laughs> these golden feathers? I keep thinking they're like at the end, you know, where it's like, oh, now they're introducing the chapter 9 mechanic, so we got to be getting pretty close to the end, right? Nope. Do I really just have to survive in that little area and not use my dash to get out of the golden feather? Oof. If so, that's going to be rough. Yeah, I gotta do like a little loop-de-loop -loop there or something. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna do the loop-de-loop -loop first. at least strategy discovered. Loop-de-loop, -loop and up. Aw, oh, man. And the crazy thing is, I see that there's another one after. I see there's another golden feather. Does anybody like the golden feathers? <laughs> I mean, like, they're, they're neat but they're not my favorite. Does anyone like them a lot? Oh man, gravity's weird, so like, timing that is proving to be more difficult than I had anticipated. Okay. Loop-de-loop, -loop and up. Seriously? Come on! I feel like that's such like a silly thing to be dying on. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Up. Okay. What? Even... I wish I, I should pause. I should pause so I can actually take a look at the level there. I was trying to think, like, where do I even go? But it looks like there's a, a platform that I need to cling to that's blocking the way. So yeah, when I take a look at this, right? I need to go with the feather up and down and then all the way to the right side and then cling onto that part of the wall and then jump off and dash up left if I want to survive. What? <laughs> I was holding up right. But okay, I at least 
I at least now know what I want to be trying to do, you know? Oh, you know what? They have not introduced the jellyfish yet, so maybe there are still <laughs> rooms to come. Man, I can't even believe they teased me with the bird there. They teased me with the bird. <sighs> if this ends up being like a three hour session or something like that, what do, you, what, what do I even do then? Do I like split this up into two hour and a half long videos or, or what? I didn't do my usual, what's it called? Um, but they don't have my usual like outros and, and all that. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. I was not... <laughs> believe me when I say that I was not anticipating playing the game for this long. Period. But also just today for this gaming session. I was expecting, well, we're at the last room. The final Crystal Heart and how crazy it was going to be. And here I am, two hours later. Oh man, that was almost it. That was almost it. I mean, for what it's worth, this is a lot of content um, in terms of DLC, which is which goes a long way, right? I'm playing this all, you know, in one go, right? But there are a lot of people who had played, oh really, the main game, and had been waiting on this for quite some time, and had a lot to look forward to, and were probably thrilled by how much was added. And quite frankly, I mean, I still enjoy all of this, and I don't think it's too much by any means. Um, it's just my very unique... Um, why did I think that was a feather and just not do anything? <laughs> In terms of having a blind run and knowing how much I should really be expecting to record. hit the spike there? Hmm. Maybe I'm getting a little bit fatigued. I at least have the strategies down. I mean, after a certain point, there's only so much... Oh, really? I just hope I never have to deal with those feathers again. Because, like, the springs and, like, the dashes and, and all that stuff, like, those are more fun for me. Those are, I, I enjoy. Um, but the, the feathers just never feel to control very, very naturally or, like, how I want them to. I'm sure there are people, well, I mean, there are speedrunners and all that stuff who I'm sure have it down to a T. But, what? I wasn't... I want to go straight up there. Why is it not... But, yeah, I'm sure there are people out there who have the controls down a lot better and, you know, these sections prove to be a lot easier for them, but I'm not, not one of them. So thank you for your patience. Why did I dash right? No, this must be upright. Are my hands failing me? Okay... Loop the loop and up. I screwed it up already, but we made it okay. Come on. No, I used my dash. I didn't, what's it called? Like curl up at the end there. Okay. Loop the loop. Up. Grab. Okay. Loop the loop. Curl. No, come on! So close. Or am I? Or am I actually that close? Or do I just have like 10 more rooms waiting for me? What? The last thing I want to be though is, is frustrated at the end of the game. Like, I mean, I, I took a break probably like an hour ago because I was feeling a little bit of that. 
Why did I do a loop-de-loop -loop there? Yeah, I feel like everything's kind of uh, jumbling up in my in my head now. But man, would it be a shame to have a three-hour-long <laughs> episode followed by like a ten-minute finale or something. Come on, yes! Please! Oh my goodness, There, it doesn't end! How long has it been? It's been two hours! It's been two hours! It doesn't end! Where is the end of this chapter? What even? Oh, I've got to go through this and get keys and... This chapter... I don't... What even? Those three things are going to come together. I have to get that key. How are those platforms going to move once I have all the keys? They have to do something that allows me to get up to the top, right? I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. We are going to take a break. <laughs> I think, given this has been over two hours of recording, um, I, I'll figure some way to split this up into two hour-long chunks. Um, because I, I thought this was going to be the finale. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the finale. But I was wrong. Um, and I'm not mad about that. That's not a bad thing. Um, that the game is, you know, giving this much quality content. And I have been enjoying Chapter 9 quite a bit. The challenge has been really cool. The utili or utilization of, um, you know, multiple mechanics from all the different chapters, combining them together with, obviously, the advanced mechanics of wave dashing and everything has been great. The background, the aesthetic, the music, all excellent. Absolutely loving it. But wow, am I surprised by how much of it there is. Um, you guys really said it was going to be the longest chapter. I, I had no idea it would be, you know, multiple, multiple hours of content. But regardless, um, it's, it's been fun. I'd imagine we have a couple rooms left. And then I'll be able to, you know, finish the game, see the end of the story, you know, what happens next. Um, the bird, granny, etc. And give some final thoughts and... Yeah, or, or, or not. Maybe there's a good another hour or two of content. Who, who knows? We'll, we'll see, though. Um, I'll figure out some way to split this up into two episodes, so this will appear weird, probably, to people that are watching this as the second part now. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for your patience, as I've clearly struggled at certain points throughout this chapter um, with, these, with this advanced... Um, technique or with these advanced techniques but it's been fun i hope those of you that have been watching and continue to watch uh enjoyed it um i do appreciate the continued support there's over 30 episodes and well over 30 hours of gameplay or 30 hours of in-game time i guess i think my file showed like 25 6 7 hours or something like that either way a lot of time you guys must love the game if you're if you're around this long and I just want to say I really do appreciate the support. It, it means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next episode, potentially the finale, like I said last time. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>